I want to live 2020 with no regret, doing things because I want to and doing things because I don't have to owe anyone an explanation. Let's start from the top back to January 2020, where I lived part-time in LA, cut my hair because I was convinced that was going to fix all my problems for the year, and spent a lot of time by myself figuring out what it was that I wanted to do with myself. I was very confused because I was living in LA and doing everything that I always thought I wanted, which was working and photo shoots and filming videos and really doing all the adult grown-up things that I thought was going to make me happy. But in the end, I realized it wasn't making me feel whole. I felt very isolated, very alone, a lot of anxiety that I I still had yet to really figure out, but I'm grateful for this time because it led me to kind of figure out that I didn't want to live in LA. The energy there, it was really, really soul sucking and it took me living there and having the dream life that I thought was for me to realize that I loved Arizona. Now don't get me wrong, there was really fun times. It felt like a dream, honestly. And when I look back at all these clips I filmed of the first two months of 2020, I can't believe everything that I did. You know, I went to my first fashion week, I worked with Coach and was able to try on dream outfits for their different events in California and New York. I was able to get my makeup done all the time and my hair. Go to my favorite coffee shop, Alfred, which was right down the road from my apartment, which is still insane that I lived right in the heart of what I always wanted. But through all of this, I was dealing with my own insecurities of not feeling enough online, not feeling like I was liked for being really myself and only myself. And I allowed myself to live in a bubble of waking up and checking the newest hate comment every single day and waiting for myself to get canceled. Because at the time it felt inevitable and I felt that nothing I was doing was enough and that I was constantly pissing everyone off online. So I started to manage my anxiety by working out and really getting into it. And it was a really helpful way for me to deal with everything I was going through. At the end of January, my sister and I packed our bags and headed to the good old Georgia on one of our airport adventures that now I realize we took for granted. It was the first video that I had filmed in months that I felt genuinely inspired by and I put the money down and I made it happen and I'm so glad I did because it is one of my favorite memories of the year and honestly one of the last trips I took before everything changed. But we spent the majority of that trip walking around and fangirling over Mystic Falls and where Damon and Stefan once stood and accidentally booking a place at the oldest most haunted place in Georgia or at least on the top 10 most haunted in the state but that is a story for another day. We headed over to good old University of Georgia where I got one of my first college tours in really buckled down on figuring out where I was going to go to school because that was the next chapter that I was focused on. Right after Georgia, I took a solo trip to New York City, one of my favorite places in the world, and had fittings and meetings for Spring Fashion Week. Visit my amazing agency in New York, all while having meetings about very exciting projects and taking digitals with them, and had the honor of sitting front row for Coach's Spring Fashion Week. I went home for the weekend and had a little Galentine's weekend by myself and treated myself because I had had such a crazy first month and a half of the year. I took myself on a date, but shortly after this trip, everything changed. Let's get right to it. Our top story, the new developments in the coronavirus. Here's the latest. There are at least 433 cases reported in 32 states. And New York's governor has declared a state of emergency. At least 89 confirmed cases of the virus statewide. Right now, public health officials say that more testing and limiting social contact will be the keys to containing this virus. They're asking everyone to avoid touching others as much as possible and suggest working from home if possible. Viking and Princess have canceled all Major League cruises. Baseball has canceled the, the rest PGA of spring training. Has canceled the Players' Coachella Championship and, and next week's Coach, they have Valspar Championship. Been canceled for 2020. And I'm talking everything. How do you even begin to describe what happened in March of 2020? Everything that everyone once knew was basically gone. Our entire year was changed and we all had to adapt in one way or another. For me, it was figuring out how I was going to do my job at home while keeping people entertained, watching, and supporting me from the walls of my house. And I can't even begin to explain how grateful I am for my family who helped me create everything that I needed to at home. And it meant getting creative and completely breaking down everything that I once knew about my videos and 
finding a new way to create content at home. Like doing glow in the dark bowling and setting up a good old glamping tent in my backyard with my family to create a really cool movie night and feel like we were anywhere but our house. Cause I think it's safe to say that everyone was sick of being home. Every day started to feel the same where I didn't even know what day of the week it was, what month it was at times. And my whole family felt the same way. It was a lot of repetition and a lot of really just trying to find the positives in a really, really scary year where no one knew what was going on. Obviously health was most important. So it meant staying at home and really digging deep into new sides of my creative side. Now, one of the positives I took away from this year was my love for cooking and eating healthy and finding ways to make healthy eating fun, affordable, and tasty. My backyard basically became my studio all while my living room became my gym. And so the at-home workouts began. I basically memorized the Alexis Run Ab workout because it was one of the only things I would find myself doing in the day to feel somewhat productive in a time where every single day was the same. I spilled a lot of drinks this year. I'll, I'll own it. I did and dropped a lot of plates while at it too. And I began to appreciate every single cup of morning coffee. Living with my family and never leaving our house was a concept very new to all of us because when my sister left for college, we all kind of had our own lives. I was traveling, my sister was away, my brother was in his routine, and my parents had theirs. But all being quarantined together meant going back to when we were little and finding joy in every single hug, every single dance party, and all the things in between. All my priorities shifted this year in being with them and enjoying every little handshake and every little out outdoor adventure that we had because there was a lot of them was of most importance. My sister and I kept my parents on their toes including my brother because if it was up to him he was fine playing video games for the entire year. Doing that was not an option in our house. Oh no we had a lot of projects going on like making my senior prom that I was not going to have anymore at home in my backyard and my entire family helped make it one of the best nights that I'll remember forever and honestly probably better than regular prom. Soon enough, May 2020 came around where I bought my sister her dream car and surprised her on her 21st birthday where she celebrated with us instead of being at a bar like she thought her year was going to include. In the same month, I graduated high school. I finished online and I was so proud of myself because I had a lot of obstacles in my way throughout my four years of high school. I officially announced to the internet that I was going to be attending the University of Arizona with all the uncertainty though of what was going to come with a year that it was. Was I going to be going to college? Was it going to be all online? We had no idea. It was literally taking every single day at a time because it's all you could do this year. In June of 2020, I officially closed the door to LA and moved out of my apartment there to start a whole new chapter in Arizona at the University of Arizona. It was a huge moment for me and it honestly took a lot of bravery because I knew that I was going to be closing the door to a lot of work opportunity over there. With moving out of LA, it meant moving down to college. And so that journey began, the shopping for the dorm that we didn't even know if we were gonna be able to live in and packing up the life that I was so used to for the year at home and saying goodbye to my family was one of the hardest things knowing that I I was going to be starting a whole new chapter away from them and I had become so attached to them from the months we'd spent together every single day attached at the hip literally. Ella and I successfully became roommates and moved into our dorm after a very long move in couple weeks and we first experienced what it was like to live in a college dorm and it is not what we thought it was going to be especially during a pandemic. There's plenty of sad days and a lot of confusing times trying to figure out if I was doing the right thing. I allowed myself to acknowledge the bad and maybe not so fun days but also appreciate every Every single day for the new emotions it brought, the new experiences, and the new lessons learned. I quickly adapted to the new life as a college student um, all online and celebrated the first day of school with my sister who was going to be a senior. It was a lot of days spent in bed working hard on my grades and on my assignments while trying to figure out the whole new setup online. I continued to stay consistent with my workouts because it was a really big anxiety reliever for me and I wanted to stay on top of it even while going to school. I sang all too well maybe one too many times making it my number one song of the year on Spotify. The days down at school did start to all feel the same likewise to being home earlier in the year, but it wasn't about what we were doing or where we were. We quickly realized that it was about who we were with and how we could have safe fun inside the walls of my sister's house or me and Ella's dorm room. Going into the year, I was really bummed thinking that my freshman year wasn't going to be fun or it was going to be far too different than what I thought. But it was actually my sister that told me that you have to change the mindset and appreciate every single day for what it had to offer because in the end, I was blessed to be at school, be healthy and know that my family was healthy and still have a job that I could basically do from wherever. And for that, I am eternally grateful for all of you to allow me to have this dream job and be able to document my life and show it to you all. Way too quickly, October came around where I got my first tattoo and celebrated my 19th birthday with my closest family and friends.
Thanksgiving came around and it was time to say goodbye to my college dorm and everything that became my reality and head back home to be with my family and really reflect on everything that the year taught me. It wasn't the year that I thought. I had a lot of other things in mind for what my 2020 was going to bring, but everyone had the same thoughts on this. No one thought it was going to be the year that it was. 2020 shifted my perspective on everything. I realized that my family and my friends were the most important things in my life. It wasn't about where I was, what experience I was having, and what plane I was on. I lived in a bubble in 2018 and 2019 where I didn't appreciate anything for what it was because I was so used to going on to the next trip or the next experience. But this year I learned to count my blessings and take every day for what it was and find the little things to be grateful for because there was plenty to be grateful for. I feel extremely grateful for all the wisdom and knowledge that the year 2020 brought to me. My family is the most important thing to me and the time that I was able to spend with them this year is something that I'll never get back and something that will be remembered forever. And as we head into 2021 with the same uncertainties that we felt all of this year, I want to remind you all to count your blessings because there is so much to be grateful for, even in the hard times. I'm glad I kept an SD card of every single memory this year because these are times that I will look back at and are a pivotal thing in my life that I will be telling my kids about one day. I love you all so much and I'm looking forward to another year of prioritizing health, love, and the people around me. I'll see you all in 2021. Bye.